Right guys, welcome back to Simpler Rockets 2. Now it has been a long time and yeah, we're just getting started on what is going to be hopefully a good career mode with the new app that I'm developing. It is still very much work in progress so there's some problems with it and it's not quite where I want it to be but I thought we'd just give it a try, see how things go. So here we are with the main menu, we're going to call our company. What should we call our space company? We are going to call it typical space. That is going to be our space company. So here we go. We've got 100 million. I think that's 100 million. Yes, 100 million starting funds to develop a good rocket that we can do missions with at some point. Our stats, we have got nothing obviously. We've done no um, flights or anything. Uh, R&D still is work in progress, uh, obviously settings there is just reset the data. So if we're going to build rocket here, we have got behind us a rocket that we have just built, which is going to be our first rocket. I just want a one stage kind of deal for like lights, you know, satellites, that kind of thing. So what we're going to call it, we are going to call it Spirit. And the payload size, I believe it is 77. If we have a look here, let's just save it. Yep. And if we if we take everything off, 71 kilograms is our payload size. So if we just load that back in, oh, I can't find it with S. I'm trying to press S to see if it'll do that so 77 kilograms is our payload size what we can currently achieve so payload size is 77 it is not reusable there's only one stage and the cost is 1.4 million so 1400000 and that we're going to test press test flight once we start it going so we have got our computer installed uh, we're just going to edit the program and we're just going to set a uh, altitude of 88 80 by 80 a nice circular orbit hopefully our right re reliability is set to 40 there so another thing with this software if we have a failure our re reliability will go up so we'll increase on um, what we're currently doing. Right, so if we press start here, we'll wait until the game loads. And there we go, we are going to do a test flight. So if we click test flight, it will start counting how long the flight is going. So we'll get rid of that for now. And we'll go into here. So. Without further ado, let's launch our first craft, the Spirit, and we shall check our systems for faults first. I've reduced the time that it takes to load propellant. Oh, the system has failed abort mission. Okay, so there we go. There we have a failed mission. So if we stop the flight, we put in here, there's a system failure. due to system fault okay so we're going to log that and there we go we have lost bunny um that is obviously it took off the cost of the actual vessel but once if it's it, like a system failure like that it shouldn't reduce the cost so that is something i'm gonna you know edit later so there you go, we've actually getting 1% extra on reliability. So if we look at the stats, that's how much we've lost. One failure, it's been one flight, there we go. The flight was a system failure. It's noted that the failed mission, there we go. So if we go back into build here, we're going to be launching the same rocket. The same cost, uh, just over again. So if we actually go back... Edit the program and we can put in a reliability of 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%. 40%
41%, sorry. Hopefully, this time, we won't get a failure. Right, so we are going to initiate the test flight again. Press number one. Hopefully, we don't have a system fault. And we have a system fault again. That is the thing with that, with that low um, reliability score, then that is going to keep happening. So we're going to do that. Obviously, we are fresh off the books. We only have a reliability of 43%. So these tests is what is needed. Right, so here we go once again for another test. If we start that again, and uh, we're just doing the same flight, so there we go. Do a system check, please. Systems be okay. Systems are okay, yes. Now we can finally continue to load the propellant. So let's start the fuel load, and hopefully we won't get a fuel failure here. Hopefully our engineers have done a good job on the rocket. And we won't get a failure. It's tense while we wait for propellant to load. <laughs> now this design is actually... I just wanted something a little bit different. So I put these little fins where the engines mount. I wanted four little engines. This should hopefully have enough power to get to orbit with this single stage. I am hoping... If we have a look here, uh, actually it won't show us our information. We have got 10% battery, it's only a small battery on this. But we'd need the battery to run the program, otherwise the program would not run. So we do need the battery, and it looks like fuel has loaded, that's continue the mission. Right, so now we can start the countdown and see if anything goes wrong with this first launch. We are successfully on our track for a first launch of this career. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. Starting the launch countdown. Oh no. Please, engines be okay. Please be okay. And there we go, lift off, and we are clear of the pad and it looks like our engines are fine. We have not had a failure as of yet. So the flight is continuing. I'm just going to get rid of this window for you. Because I forgot to remove that, didn't I? What an idiot. So hopefully we should start pitching. Yep. We should start pitching over now. Maneuver. Now let us know if you want to have like onboard cameras and stuff for this series. That would be pretty cool I think. Hopefully we don't have a control issue with this. So if we get our information up here, we'll see this. Stage Delivery 3600 left. We should hopefully have enough to get orbit. I'm uh, a little bit worried. Oh, battery's actually charging because of the engines. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we could have really, uh, although the battery charge, it doesn't change the weight of the battery, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I could have just left it fully charged, I don't know why I didn't. Hopefully guidance is fine here and we are on course for orbit. Our apps remember, is set to 80,000 kilometers. We are getting up to 37. Remember, I can't use the controls. I've got to use this all purely on program. Oh god, it's getting a little bit heated. That is not good. 
definitely not what we want to be seeing. We are running out of fuel, actually, surprisingly. But we're getting close to that 80,000 mark. Hopefully. There we go. Our engines have cut. Make up. That is promising. That's what we want to see. Now, the next step is fair and separation. Will we have a successful fair and separation? That is what we're going to be looking for next. Let's have a look at what guidance is doing. It's staying pro grade, it should be. We have got a gyro enabled. I don't know why it's uh, trying to turn. Oh no, that's right. It's just the air uh, uh, messing with it, I think. There. There we go. We are on track for pro grade. See, our battery is draining. That is one thing we don't want to drain our battery fully by using the gyro when um, we need it to control the program. So once we get past seventy thousand, should start fair and separation. Fair and sep. Okay. Yes, <laughs> there we go. The fairing is clear. Look at that tiny little payload. It's just a test payload, like I say. Just a test to see if we can successfully get up into orbit with this craft. So we're now coursing to Apple Apps. Hopefully, once we get within 10 seconds of Apple Apps, we are going to be starting our burn to get circularized and up our peri apps. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous with this. Everything has gone smoothly in this flight, very smooth. Hopefully, we have a successful flight here. And this is just a test flight, so we're not going to make any money from it. We're still going to be at loss, but at least we're going to have that successful mission under our belt for this craft design. Uh oh, that is not what we wanted to see. Um, that is very off course. <laughs> so there's been a little bit of a problem with the computer telling it how high it should be. Yeah, there's a little bit of a problem there. We'll see what happens when it gets to periaps and see if it changes anything. Doesn't look like it. It looks like that is where the craft is going to remain. Is it going to separate the payload since we had that problem? We might have to wait 23 minutes to find out once it gets to Wapper Waps. Oops, I didn't mean to go at the menu there. But at least we have actually made it to orbit with our first career rocket granted it is a small payload how how much fuel have we got left oh we've actually got no fuel left that is why it cut out it didn't cut out because of the sys software it cut out because we have no fuel left okay so it was actually a failure and it will not release this payload so there we go we've had our first orbital failure so obviously we don't want to discard of this mission we're going to leave that in because there is no way of controlling the system now. We can't terminate it, can't tell it, come back. There's no fuel. So, that is it. That is a loss. Although there is no value to the payload anyway, as it was just a test payload. So, we'll bring that window back up. We'll end the flight there. I need to 
adjust this to minutes and seconds and so on. But anyway, we had a control failure, I would say. So that means the mission, the test flight, should I say, failed due to incorrect incorrect burn resulting in fuel make a new line actually in fuel loss vehicle drifting in orbit no recover no recovery so we'll save that there obviously we took a loss we have improved our reliability still though so there's our stats we have lost 4.2 million in the first three flights we've had three failures because obviously we had the first two system failures that shouldn't cost us anything i'm going to fix that later on down the road but there we go there's our flight history so flight number one the rocket spirit that's how long it flew for 29 seconds <laughs> the payload size um system failure then we can look here we had another system failure and then flight number three oh we should have put that it actually made it to orbit that is going to be something i'm going to put in how far it made it like the way and input the apple apps and peri apps and stuff to tell the log how far you made it but anyway if you've got any more ideas for this little app and you want to see more then do leave a comment leave a like down below and um yeah guys i'll see you in the next video if you want to check out the latest streams, I'm streaming on Twitch quite regularly uh, for Microsoft Flight Sim. If you want to check that out, it's twitch.tv slash Robert YouTube. And uh, yeah, that's uh, if you want to come check out my live streams. But yeah, for now, that is as much as there is. Just one more thing. the We've got this at the minute this is our mission page where we can choose where we want to go for a mission whether it's unmanned multi-satellites manned manned landing um but at the minute there's only unmanned satellites and if i just show you here we can generate a mission small satellite drew orbit apple apps of 152 and a peri apps of 89 so there we go and it also shows you that the, pay, the company will pay you. So that is... $305,000. So actually, we are at a loss there. So yeah, I'm going to have to change them numbers because that is... <laughs> silly. I'm going to actually make these million. So this is just going to be like 100M. And then everything else will be priced in millions because I think that's going to be the easiest way and the best looking way to do this app. So I will make them changes for the next video. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.